Hi, Capricorn. We're doing a short little video clip having fun of who is coming towards you romantically. So Universe Angel Spirit Guides, no timeline, just when it resonates with you. Who is romantically coming towards my single Capricorn? Who is coming towards them? Who is coming towards my... Thank you, Capricorn. Interesting. Who is coming towards you guys is death and five of cups. So something from your past that had ended or at the very least is transitioning. So the five of cups talks about remorse, uh, sorrow from the past, things that haven't worked out. If you look closely at this cups, oh, all her cups have fallen over except for the one right here. And she has a candle and she knows it's there and she's going back to find it, to drink from that cup, to make her emotionally happy again. That's you. This is you realizing that you really need to disconnect from your past or that there is somebody from your recent past here that maybe you feel guilty or remorseful for and you're looking for that cup and you're going back to it because death is also here telling me there was an ending. But with an ending comes a metamorphosis of something new it's like a caterpillar you know it's no longer a caterpillar now it's turning into a butterfly so we're going to clarify and we're going to see and i say that analogy because at the bottom of the deck you have six of wands and under that is the star aquarius scorpio here you are the devil capricorn not that you're the devil like you're a devil but this is your card but this is saying, you know, under this, you're optimistic and positive and hopeful going towards your true north there and finding your vindication, you know, your, your success in the situation. Um, how will Capricorn feel about this person? Five Pentacles. Ace of Swords. You want to talk about being left out in the cold. You want to have a true, honest, new beginning with this person and discuss about being left out in the cold, whether this was done to you in the past by somebody else or the very same person here. It's how you feel. And you want to talk about having a fresh, new beginning, truth, honesty, and clarity with something tangible here. That's what's going to make you happy. Um, how does this person feel about Capricorn coming towards them? Seven of Wands, Ace of Cups. Wow. Wow. They're going to give you, I don't know, seven different reasons or seven ways to Sunday uh, about how they want to start an emotional new journey with you. How about them apples? <laughs> That's how they feel. They want an emotional new beginning with you and they're very defensive though. I'm, I don't know if I'm... Yeah, look at the bottom of the deck. Guys, Two of Cups. This is sick. This is amazing. You You have the potential of somebody coming back towards you that you could become a couple with. Maybe you had a false start in the past. Look at this. And Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of that. Money on your home, you know, Eight of Cups under that. Being stuck, walking away, going towards a new foundation, stability with someone here. Um, but we're talking about how they feel about you. This is how they feel about you, too. But I see they more or less are sitting here telling you, look, I, I, I want to start over. I want an emotional new beginning. In the past, I might have walked away from you. I might have left you out in the cold or vice versa. This is you telling them, you know, whoever puts somebody out in the cold, they're talking about this. They're trying to defend that action, that they loved you. They liked you. They didn't know where they stood, so they walked away or, or something to that effect. But they want to offer you an emotion. This is not like, I like you. This is like, I love you. Defending that. Okay, what's the potential outcome with Capricorn and this person? You definitely have some kind of history with this person that, that that's coming towards you because these cards all are saying about fives, which are changes and like periods from the past. Yeah, look at the what's the potential outcome. The Three of Swords in reverse, healing past pain. 
I don't know. We're clarifying, so we'll see. The universe and the spirit guides. Why is death here and the five of cups? This person that's coming towards Capricorn. So I don't really see newish. I do see new opportunity here. How they feel about you. They want to offer you this emotional new beginning. What is death and five of cups? Maybe you're transitioning. You're getting out because fives are changes. And it looks like you're coming out of that. Some of you are dealing with uh, an Aries. It doesn't have to be somebody older than you. It doesn't have to be. They're a parent. But this, they're a parent. They're an entrepreneur. They're business people. They're powerful, actually, in energy. They're controlling sometimes, too. Aries. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, single. Maybe they were too focused on their money. Or somebody here was just too focused on their money and their independence. Like, I'm powerful. I'm independent. I got my own shit together. It's like, all right, calm down. <laughs> but still, this is kind of like the energy I'm vibing. And Libra is also here. Balance being restored. The universe is bringing you, you know, this is karma. Another five. Five of wands. Obstacles, blocks, challenges. You guys probably challenged each other. You were both probably going through a transitional period. You know, somebody over here had to get off their friggin' high horse. And notice that there was a blessing here. One of you didn't realize that you to each other, it could be vice versa. One of you did not realize that you were a blessing. You are too busy over here doing this. Woe is me. My life sucks. Uh, this happened to me. That happened to me. I lost my job. I lost my wife. I lost my husband. I lost something. Whatever. Somebody was here doing a pity party. Meanwhile, some blessing in disguise walked into your life flip it and did not recognize it and that's what was the challenge here this is what the blocks were here are the obstacles and the universe is like you need to stand up and let this blessing hit you in the head this is what's telling me who the person is that's coming towards you and it looks like it's this person this person could have been a blessing in disguise and it was neglected so it was a missed opportunity is what it looks like all of that telling me the five of cups and death is a missed opportunity. And, you know, now, again, like I said, what is meant for you will never pass you by. It's a matter of you getting up because karma is here. This is you. Slow and steady wins the race. You're a knight. Right now, you're a knight, Capricorn. You're a knight on horseback and you're slowly going into the direction of this person. Or it's vice versa. This person is slowly coming towards you. What is this five of pentacles? Why does Capricorn feel this way about this person? Did they put you out in the cold? Cap it looks like they put you out in the cold. This is what it feels like. It feels like Capricorn, somebody put you out in the cold. And I think it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. They just look very passionate and attractive. I know you think they're very attractive. They're very good looking. Um... Yeah, and you're thinking about going back towards them quite quickly, in fact. You're like, fuck it. Negative, positive, whatever happens, happens. You know, I, I got to move on with my life. I got to stay focused. Um, but this is how you're feeling about this person. You're thinking about having this honest conversation, this fresh new beginning. You're thinking about taking a leap of faith towards this person and having truth, honesty, and clarity here. This is how you feel. Let's see how they feel about you. Clarifying Ace of Cups and the Seven of Wands, please. What is this Ace of Wands? Ace of Cups and Seven of Wands, please. Believe it or not, this person is up at night stressing, not sleeping, thinking about it nonstop. Nine of Wands. They've been thinking and ruminating in their head how to have this new beginning with you, how to apologize, how to contact you, how to text you, how to initiate conversation with you. You might have thought this person was very cold and calculating, might have cut you out, but this is how they feel. They're trying to be strategic. And they have a fork in the road. They either do this or they don't, is what they're thinking. You know, they're trying to use their intuition. I know that this is somebody you might not be speaking with right now. So they're constantly juggling. They're, they're vacillating in their mind. Do I contact them? Do I not contact them? Should I contact them? Should I not contact them? You know, they, they keep thinking, like, should I move away and just move on with my life? Or This is how they feel. They have feelings for you, but for whatever reason, 
they're, they don't have the strength to come forward because they're afraid that you're going to just, you're either with someone else or you're going to deny them or they're just waiting for you to contact them. I mean, good luck if Capricorn's going to reach out. Just saying. But if you do, Capricorn, this person is going to receive you quite well. What is this three of swords in reverse, please? The potential outcome. Ooh, page of pentacles and the ten of wands. Okay, so yeah, it's gonna there's a there's a road. There, there's a road to healing here. And it's going to be a little bit burdensome and cumbersome, but there is the offer there. To be like, look, I'm willing to work towards it, and, and we have a road because it's like you're gonna have to with this person, there's gonna be a bit of burdens because you're going to have to take two steps back in order to move two steps forward because whatever didn't work in the past, you're going to have to fix that to mend it and to move forward with each other. And that's what this looks like. That's the burden here. But the offer is there. And that's what needs to be healed. The bottom of the deck is the potential of this Ace of Pentacles, a solid relationship. Yeah, the apology, the, the forgive me, you know, stressing at night, the anxiety. The Eight of Pentacles wanting to work with you regarding this situation. Reconciliation, finding happiness with you. It's all that, look at that, lovers. Interesting. Sorry, didn't mean to slam you. What's going on for my cappies, please? Who's coming towards them? Express your love. Absolutely. That's what's here. That's what's being called for. Expressing your love towards this person. Somebody here has codependency issues. Forgiving and learning. A lot of you have to express this. Forgiving and learning and letting go of the past. In the last card, a lot of you, one of you needs to release your ex. Ex-husband, ex-wife, ex-energy. In order for this to come in, this is why you had the Four of Cups. That's why you couldn't see the blessing in disguise before. Because maybe you were still tethered to someone else from your past. Let your friends help you. Get counseling. You know, and last but not least, what do we have for advice? For Capricorn, please. Capricorn. Prosperity lies ahead. A prosperity talks about abundance, so you can have this with this person here and bring love into the situation completely, not just practicality. Look at this. Your commitment is being tested. The universe is testing you guys right now, you and this person, but this is your reading, so you know who's coming towards you. Your commitment is being tested, and you need to bring love into this situation, and when you do, prosperity lies ahead in this relationship. All right, guys, this is what I have for you. Next one.